I feel very strongly that the people of Ghana have set a very high bar, very high standard for the MPP. That the people of Ghana believe that it's the MPP who can manage this country. And I say so with all confidence because if you look at the recent uh, uh, Afrobarometer, the people haven't necessarily moved from the MPP but, but, to our opponents. But the majority say that they, they still have that sense of disappointment in the party, in the MPP. They said what? The, the disappointment in the MPP. But I'm getting in, there. In, in, I'm getting there. Yes. Mass clean in the MPP. So there's expectation. As we go to the IMF, the people are not crying for the NDC. The people are not crying for policies the NDC established. They are saying that the government should protect the policies that the MPP has established. Policies that protect families. So people expect a lot from the MPP. And, and therefore, I believe that once that acceptance is there, after eight elections, you realize that policy time is critical. Eight years is not sufficient. So this is the time when people want the MPP to reboot itself, re-engage the public, refine our vision again, and get moving because they are going to expect us to do better and change the narrative before 2024.